am Kimberly, your host of Beyond Evil True Crime. I have missed each and every one of you. Um, I hope that you are not prepared for a long story because that's not what I got for you today. <laughs> I got a short little brief update. I actually have a few updates on a few little stories that are out there and, um, and a update on a story, two stories that I did. And my main purpose is an update on the Gabriel Fernandez case. I'm almost positive many of you know or heard of the Gabriel Fernandez case. If you have not, it was a case out of Palmdale, California, where an eight-year-old baby lost his life at the hands of his mother and her dude. And it, it was just horrible. I mean, I did a story on um, the little Jones baby. It was just as bad, just as bad. Um, this, all of his torture took place over eight months. For those of you who've never heard of the case, there's a Netflix story on it. There's a whole bunch of YouTubes about it. There's a whole bunch of podcasts about it. But his final day, he was found unconscious, naked. His skull was cracked. His teeth were shattered. Cracked ribs. Severe burns. BB gun pellets in his growing. He was on life support for two days and his he was his he was declared brain dead and they shut off the machines two days after he went to the hospital. So he was but when he was found it was on um May twenty second, two thousand thirteen. And it wouldn't be until two thousand eighteen that his trifling ass mama would get life in prison and the boyfriend would get the death penalty. Now, the mama did not get the death penalty because some psychiatrist, whatever, said that she wasn't mentally capable of understanding. She was depressed and she's bipolar and she all of a sudden she all this shit. Well, she knew right from wrong. You know how when you have a young kid that's testifying or doing something, you know, as far as um, in a court of law, you know, and the, the judge or whatever says, do you understand the difference between right or wrong? And they say yes. And that's generally they ask that question, you know, of, of youth. So let's put her in the youth because she's not a youth. She's like 30 some years old. But um, let's just say her mental capacity is of a child. They ask the child, do they know right or wrong? Did y'all ask this half if she knew right or wrong? Because she did. Because you know why I know she did? Because she had two other kids and she didn't beat them. Nothing, nothing happened to them. So she knew right from wrong. So she should be on death row. But she's not. And not only is she not on death row, this heifer trying to get out. Because the penal code changed in 2019 there was some update about um i can't remember what exactly what the wording of it i will have the link listed for the penal code um so you guys can look it up if you want to but it's basically giving her a reason to have a hearing for resentencing and this hearing is to take place in june june 1st so i'm gonna be all the way there for that and i'm going to um come back and let y'all know what happened but before I finish with this little trifling case, I'm a little bit of ray of sunshine. I know some of you are gonna say that I'm just evil, but hey, I can kill no kids. Um, she got her the brakes beat off her. <laughs> it makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Isn't that terrible? But she she went into to jail telling these folks that um, she was in there for a DUI. So I'm assuming, you know, they're like, okay, all right they don't have they can't watch netflix they can't watch youtube i mean but i don't know about y'all but i see a whole lot of inmates on instagram facebook and everywhere else I, I don't know if they know that the cia be watching them but whatever um so i'm sure that they, they would have found out but they didn't find out by that they found out because i guess a guard he was tired of the peace he woke up with violence in his heart that day <laughs> Because he said, um, you sure sleep good for a baby killer. That's all that needed to be said. 
they let her ass have it. So I heard this from two different sources. One from an inmate who was in, in prison with her and actually did not um, partake in the beating because she was due to get out like weeks or something like that. And she's like, yeah, as much as I want to whoop her ass, I want freedom more. So that that saved her from an extra pair of hands whooping on her. But, um, and then another um, YouTuber spoke to a, a girl who was also, I believe, in jail with her and um, gave an interview. I cannot remember her name, but if I remember the YouTube, because it just popped up for whatever reason. Um, and if I remember, I'll put it in the notes or I'll come back and let you guys know in a comment or something like that. Um, so yeah, that happened to her. And I'm actually really happy about it. Um, I do wish that she had the death penalty because I believe that an eye for an eye. I know that there's a lot of people out there and I may have viewers that believe that um, death penalty is wrong. I respect your opinion wholeheartedly. This is not sarcasm speaking. I truly do. Just as I want you to respect mine. I believe if you take a life of a child, there should be no ifs, ands, buts about it. You need to die. That's that's how I feel. Um, I'm I'm all for the death penalty, so I'm there for the death penalty if you kill an adult too. So you know, depending on what you do, how you do it, and when you do it, nine times out of ten, I think you should die. But um, I do know that there are some innocent people, and if there's not a lot of evidence, even if you did it, and there's not a lot of evidence, and I just feel in my soul that you did it. I'm still going to say, well, he needs to spend the rest of his life in jail until somebody figures some shit out. But if we know you did it, oh, it shouldn't be no, do not pass go. Don't collect $200. You need to go straight to the, to the table, to the chair, to the wherever it's going to happen is where you need to go. Um, but the, her boyfriend got the death penalty and I think he's using this same penal code revision to get a resentencing hearing. I haven't confirmed that, but I'm, I, I believe he is. And, but I know for a fact she is because she has a date in June. So that's that. And um, enough about her till I get to get some more facts for you guys. But I did want to let you guys know about, I am bringing a case to you. I'm actually waiting on a victim um, in the case that I want to bring to you to get back to me. If they don't get back to me in the next um, few days, I'm just going to go out and push the episode out as well as some I'm doing some research on a couple of other ones so I will have some content for you guys I promise and the AJ Armstrong I love 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 each and every single one of you who have commented who has given your opinion it, it doesn't matter if it's hate or not I appreciate it because some people their opinion is is hateful and it's okay I'm okay with that I I don't take I have very thick skin I don't take any of it personal. Um, that's just how you felt at the moment because I may have said something that triggered you. I, you will never, you will never get me riled up. I can promise you that. If anything, I'm going to kill you with kindness. I'm not going to call you out your name, talk about you. I will, if I feel it's just too much and especially if it's not pointed, if it's not directed at me, I'm going to delete it. Um, People say, oh, the comments, you need to leave them, leave them there. People need to, no, some things you don't need to leave. And if I feel that a person is being rude to somebody, that's not going to happen on my watch. I try my very best, even though I'm not pushing out content, I have my notifications on every single time and I try my best to get there and reply. Sometimes I don't know what's going on. If I'm on my phone, I can't see some of the comments. They're like hidden, like... I found, just found out like uh, two weeks ago that there's a special area where YouTube puts comments that they feel are, um, have potential spam or I don't know, but I found a couple of people's comments stuck there and it could have been some more because I just found this space and they said that they delete them, I think after 60 days or something. And so anybody who commented way back way and I didn't see it, I didn't know that feature was there. Nobody told me, sorry. <laughs> um, but for the most part... Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I noticed that my numbers went up and I am so grateful because this makes me feel like um, there's a lot more people, like-minded people out there. And this is my therapy because 
forget COVID, forget all of that. There's everybody needs something. Um, my husband, he's got sports. That's his thing. I don't really get too involved in television shows. I'm one of those, like I, I watched all of Game of Thrones. I have to tell you, I think that's probably the only television show that I actually watch from the beginning to the end. I'm one of those serial quitters. <laughs> like I'll start watching you and eh, I'm done. Like I need to go back and finish True Blood because I heard something else was getting ready to come out. I need to go finish Dexter because I heard something else was coming out. I just fall off. That's just me. So I, I this that and people use television and stuff like that as their therapy. I use this and books. I, I do like to read a lot. So, you know, that's and I'm using instead of reading books now, I'm reading case files that are thousands of pages long. So and I'm enjoying it. And I like the fact that I get to share it with you guys. So I really, truly appreciate each and every one of you. And if you have any cases that you would like me to cover, please let me know in the um, comment section any of any video. I'm going to go back and read it. So it doesn't matter. Or you can send me an email at beyond evil at email.com and um i will i will surely do that now i wanted to give a shout out to a young gentleman for the last case that i did the young boy whose name in the um case was michael which was the last um baby he actually commented if you guys go he commented in the comments about his mom and dad where clearly he is not with the bull either so he's over them and all the crap that they're pulling. And um, he reached out and I spoke to him via email. And he he does have a lot to go through and he's, he's struggling with it. But he is making the best of what he's got. And I am really proud of him for that because I couldn't imagine, you know, going through what he's gone through. So I want to give him a little shout out for living his best life and trying as hard as he possibly can. I respect him to the umpteenth power. And um, those of you who want to um, update on the Armstrong case, I don't have one because I don't know what they're doing. They're like hiding the information. It's very difficult to get anything. And I think it might be because he was a juvenile when this all started. So it was very difficult to get anything um, because he was a juvenile, but he's not anymore. But I think because the case is still, but he was tried as an adult. So I'm just like, I, you tried him as an adult. He on TV. I see him. Why y'all hiding papers? But, um, they have not released anything. They did have in February, um, a hearing because his attorney was like, y'all lost evidence. Do y'all still got a case? Why don't we just squash this and everybody go home? Everybody go to their corners. The prosecution was like, nah, that's not what we're doing. We, and everybody who's a true crime head like me knows those prosecutors, once they get a little wild hair up their ass, I'm sorry, but they ain't gonna let it go. So it could be a year, it could be two, it could be three, hell, it could be five. They're probably gonna come for you. But right now they did say the case was going to continue. However, evidence was lost. It was put into the judge's chambers and I don't know where, if the cleaning crew was new, I, I just don't know because I can't get my cleaning crew to pick up the paper that's sitting next to the trash can because they think it may be an accidental drop and they don't want to trash it. So it's still there in the morning. Mind you, the trash can is empty, but the papers around it, they still on the floor. So how you pick up evidence ba um, bags and put them in the trash, where they do that at? So that's what supposedly happened to some evidence in that case. Shh shady as shit if you ask me but so the prosecution said they still have a case everything is so backed up I did look at their docket and they have like I think it's some 400 or 500 and some backlog of cases so um who knows when that's going to go to trial it it could go this year it could not who knows but I will keep you updated on that the Maurice Taylor story that I did about the man who um, decapitated his two children. He's in um, a crazy home. He's under crazy watch. And um, I know that's not a, a technical term, but I mean, you got, th the word was made for a reason. And I think it was made for this particular reason. You cut, you, you chopped off your two children's head. I, I, it's insane. Yes. It's uh, atrocious. Yes. But it's also crazy. So yeah, and that's what's happening with him. So 
there's no date yet for him. And um, I actually was looking for information because I, I'm going to seriously follow this case because I want to know how does a mother not have any defensive wounds, any, anything, and you're in the same house that two of your children were decapitated. I, I need to know. I really do. It's 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 burning my soul. Like I, I need to know what 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 happened. So I will come back to you as soon as I get some information on that. And as far as any other um, cases that I am researching, I I'm gonna bring them to you as soon as I possibly can. I'm trying to get to where I have like a schedule and so that you guys are getting more content especially with all the followers I have. I don't want to lose any of you guys, but I do have a day job. I do not get paid for this. I'm not trying to get paid for this. Um, it's a hobby. And, but I, I had a birthday. I had a facial where my whole face, I looked like I was 12. I broke out like a garbage pail kid. Um, it, a lot happened in the last three weeks and I became a great aunt. So please bear with me. I am going to get you guys some more content. And I did have somebody ask me to cover a case that I'm actually not going to cover until it goes to trial. And if it never goes to trial, I'll never cover it. But I will give you my little two, four cents right now, which is the, um, the two little baby boys, the two little black boys that were, um, that went missing in California city. Oh, <sighs> my opinion is that the foster parents did something. I don't know what they did, but they were under your care. They were with you. You did something. There's no way anyone, God himself can come down and have a seat next to me on my couch and say, look at here, little girl. Those kids did come up missing. Poof. Just like that. And I'm not going to believe him because it just does, it doesn't happen. There's no way that there's cameras looking out. No cars came up and down that street. These two little boys in less than three minutes just disappeared if you guys haven't heard the case i will I, I, and this is my fault i have the worst memory on the planet um i can't remember their names even though everybody says it all the time i just it's escaped me right now but um i will it you guys once i put the name in the the for the little boys in the comments you guys will um be able to look them up but everybody uh, I, I swear every single youtube true crime person even non-true crime people have covered this case i believe and it's been on the news but at the end of the day everybody has an opinion and we're all that's what we're we're entitled to that it's ours we can share it you don't have to like it it's that's perfectly fine i respect i respectfully agree to disagree and at this point i believe that the foster family had Something to do with it, I don't know what. At this point, I, I really don't know what. And everybody else is feeling all sorry for the bio family. I'm a little bit on the fence with the bio family because first off, you didn't have your kid to begin with. So I blame, I'm blame. i blaming you too. Um, now, if you got your babies taken away for you, she's saying that her babies were taken away from her. She doesn't know why, that she came home from work and um, one of them, I believe, had a broken... I don't know if it was an arm or leg or something, had some, a broken limb. And um, then all of a sudden DCFS came in and snatched them up. Now, I've worked for DCFS. That has happened. I'm not going to say that that has not happened. Um, but it's because of other stuff around it. Like either the the parent wasn't a good parent to begin with. Like they, they had drug ties or they were on drugs or they sold drugs or they the environment was not not good. It There's a whole lot you know, to, that goes with that for them to have, they're just sitting there waiting for one little thing to go wrong to snatch up your baby. That has happened. I'm not going to say that it hasn't, but at the same time, they just don't go get adopted overnight. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that these two kids did, but I think it was like a year or something. That was pretty fast. So I'm like, y'all didn't give the mom a chance or did the mom not give herself a chance? Now I can tell you that I read the both boys have two different um, fathers. I did read that both of them didn't want anything to do with the ch child didn't and don't want anything to do with this case and want to stay completely anonymous. Um, why? Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, you, you're supposed to take care of your kid. 
because I'm some evil person. I'm saying it because that's what you do when you have a kid. But okay, so you, the, the dads were okay with the mom losing the baby and not getting them. Where is the bio? Like, where are the bio grandparents? Where are the bio aunts? Where are the bio uncles? Where are all them at? You know where they at? They showing up at press conferences with the, the foster family, cussing them out, telling them how what they did was wrong and all that, which is, they did. You lost two babies. How you do that? I don't know. But where was you? How come them babies wasn't with you? So my problem is, is that there's too many chiefs, not enough Indians. So the bio mom didn't have them. She did her little interview. She claimed she, she, she don't know why, but they were taken, but you had, so in that year, what'd you do to try to get them back? I didn't hear you. They tap danced around all that. Like they were asked that they didn't answer it. So my thing is, is that you don't got no answers. So that means that there's some, there's somewhere there's some untruths happening. So, you know, maybe she was on drugs. Maybe she, you know, whatever. I don't know. Maybe she didn't have a job, but I, I've never known, um, DCFS. Like I said, I worked there to take your kid because you don't have a job. You know how many kids are still with their mom and daddy out on Skid Row? DCFS ain't picking folks up. Uh, I mean, they, they should be, and they probably have them on the list, but it ain't happened. Um, so I'm just like, something else went wrong. And then some of the family members, I see, I look at them and I'm like, mm, I'm, I'm just going to just gonna go out on a limb here and say, you, you weren't going to be a stable environment for the kid. <laughs> just just I'm just I'm just talking about from looking from I'm judging a book by the cover here and um so but if that's the that's the case just keep your mouth shut you know what I mean or just continue to look for the kid continue to do everything but we don't need to hear all this you what were you doing it's your fault mm, it is but it's also yours and yours and yours and yours and yours and yours and yours is all of the bio folks like I'm not saying that we are supposed to take on our relatives' kids, but at the end of the day, if you're going to show up for some for a press conference on some kids, then where were you when these kids were being taken from the mom? Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, like where the grandparents at? Because if my child got taken from me, my mother is going to tear down the building. So I don't understand. And if, if my brother's kids get taken, I'm tearing down the building. Give me them babies. I mean, I can't afford them, but we're going to make it work. We're going we gonna to be noodles, but we're going to make it work. So I'm just a little bit, I think I, I try to stay away from that case because I'm bothered by all the parties involved. And so I'm just like, you know, the focus was coming off of the children and it was focusing around them. And a lot of the YouTubers is focusing on the people that are doing the searching. It's not about them. It's about the kids. So I appreciate all of the people going out looking for those kids. I appreciate all the people who went traipsing through the desert and everywhere else trying to find them between California City and Bakersfield. I really do because those are two little humans that didn't deserve whatever fate bestowed on them. You know, so it's like, um, but at the end of the day, it's just so much drama. So I won't be covering. This is what you got right here is what you're going to get for that case. Um, I'm just going to let that ride out until somebody goes to court and somebody gets tried and I can read the facts for what it is, even though, you know, some half the time their facts are kind of not the facts, but you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's that. Once again, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming. I will give you some updates on these little, little bitty tidbit cases that are going on. I will have another case for you coming soon. It's going to be pretty lengthy because um, it is actually the case um, where, uh, I'm not going to tell you, I'm just, you'll just, you'll get it, you'll get it. <laughs> um, so thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And um, if you're new here, thank you so very much. Please subscribe. Please leave comments. I'm actually the comment, I'm a com comment hog. <laughs> I love comments. I love when everybody interacts in the comments. That really makes my day and ask questions, give suggestions of what, how you think happened in the case. Because as you guys know, if the back cases that I've given, those have been based off of, you know, facts, but at the same time, you can still have your theory because those facts are the facts that 
sometimes the criminal wants you to believe are the facts um, or the police, because I'm not saying the police are always right either. So, you know, you, whatever your theories are, I love to hear them. And that's just what we do. So once again, everybody be kind to everybody and be safe out there. I know that we're opening back up and everybody is so excited to get out there in these streets, but be very cautious take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Deuces.